Welcome to part 5 of our tutorial series on how to apply custom visual designs in MOSS. In this part, I will demonstrate how to use our base master page to create a custom master page in MOSS. Here are some instructions for getting our file ready in SharePoint Designer. We're going to drag and drop the base master page file into SharePoint Designer and then rename the file. First, I'll navigate to the Master Page Gallery in SharePoint Designer. As you can see, many default master pages and page layouts already exist in this gallery. Now I'm going to drag the Image Base Master Page file from my local system into the Master Page Gallery. And I'm going to rename the file with our project code. In this case, it's DEMO Demo. Our new master page is now ready for customization. We'll open the master page in SharePoint Designer and copy over various snippets of layout code from our local HTML template. Let's go ahead and open our new master page in SharePoint Designer. First, I'd like to give you a few tips about the head tag. In Moss, we will be assigning our custom CSS file in the later step so you should not place a link to your CSS file in the head tag in the master page. If you do so, the core.css file will override your CSS file. We'll talk more about that later in this series. There is a useful content placeholder called Placeholder Additional Page Head that gives you the option to add additional head code in the page layouts. Now, normally our custom CSS file would include certain styles for the body tag, such as background color or a background image. However, in Moss, this would affect the WYSIWYG editors used in the site, because they will pick up the styles from the same CSS file. For example, when someone edits their page content, they may see a blue background in the WYSIWYG editor, which would confuse the user and make it hard to edit their content. We don't want that to happen, so we need to hard code our body styles directly in the body tag of the master page. If we need to override these styles in individual page layouts, we can do so by using the additional page head placeholder that I mentioned previously. If we know this when we build our HTML template, we can have those hard coded styles ready to go. I just copy the styles from the body tag in our template and then paste them into the body tag of our master page in SharePoint Designer. Now we can start copying over chunks of layout code from our HTML template into the master page. The master page includes comments to help identify where certain elements are in the code. We're using the navigation control in our demo design, so our first chunk of code to copy will be from just after the opening body tag to just before the navigation placeholder in the HTML template. You can see we are using a very simple design for this demo, so there is not a lot of code to copy in this case. I'm going to paste the code here in the master page just before the begin top navigation comment that we have here. We won't be using the welcome my site or my links components which are right here. So I'm just going to remove this from our master page code. The next chunk of code is between the main navigation and the main content area. In our HTML template, we're going to copy the code from immediately after the navigation text placeholder to immediately before the main content area. I'm going to grab the code from right after the navigation to right before the main content area. As you can see, I have some comments here to help me decide where that main content area is. 
And now I'm going to look for the comment that shows us where the top navigation ends, which is right here, and I'll paste in our code. It's not much code, again, because it's a very simple design. Now we'll copy and paste the remaining layout code below the main content area. This would include any code through the footer, but does not include the closing body or closing HTML tags. Here's the code in our local template, which is from right below the main content area to right above the closing body tag. I'm going to paste it in our master page right after the ending comment for the main content area. I'm going to save our changes and now our master page is ready to go. But first I need to check it in because it won't be available for use on the website until I publish it. In other words, check it in. I'm going to publish a major version. Our basic custom master page is now complete. We've checked the file into SharePoint Designer so it can be used in the Moss website. We will assign the master page and custom CSS file to the website in a later part of this tutorial series. But first we'll need to create a page layout, which will be covered in part 6 of our tutorial series.